G'day IT professionals, my name is Oren Thomas and I'm a Principal Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. Welcome to this Windows Server Basics video. In these videos I will go over basic concepts related to the administration of Windows Server. In this video you'll learn some basic concepts around creating users in Active Directory users and computers. As this is a basics video, we won't cover bulk user creation. We are just assuming you are interested in what an Active Directory user account is, how you create one, and how you configure them. In this video, we'll cover what a user account is for, why organize user accounts into organizational units, why use template users, how to create a user, and why to use template users. Let's get started. Active Directory user accounts serve as digital identities for individuals within an organization's network environment. These accounts provide a centralized mechanism for authentication and authorization, allowing you to control access to various resources such as computers, files, applications, and services. User accounts store essential information about each user, including their username, password, contact details, and group memberships. Accounts enable administrators to manage user permissions, enforce security policies, and track user activities across the network. By utilizing Active Directory user accounts, organizations can maintain a secure, organized, and efficient IT infrastructure, ensuring that users have appropriate access to the resources they need while maintaining overall system security and compliance with organizational policies. In advanced environments, user accounts can be synchronized up into the cloud and used with identity providers such as Entra, but this is a video about Windows Server Active Directory, so we won't cover that sort of complicated shenanigan here. When you create a user, you have to decide where to put the user account. In many deployments, users are just left in their default location, the user's container. It's not unusual to find Active Directory environments where there are hundreds, if not thousands, of user accounts all stored in the default user's container. Users should be organized into organizational units, generally called OUs, rather than the default user's container in Active Directory for better management and control. OUs allow administrators to apply group policy objects, GPOs, specifically to subsets of users, delegate administrative rights more granularly, and organize users based on departmental or functional structures. This hierarchical approach simplifies user management, enhances security by allowing more targeted policy application, and makes it easier to implement and maintain consistent settings across similar user groups. You should define OU structure based on what will be the most efficient way of administering collections of users for your specific deployment. If you want to have teams manage users based on geography, it might make sense to have geographic OU. If you want to manage users and apply policies based on department, you might create an OU structure that aligns with how the organization is structured. To create a user in Active Directory users and computers, perform the following steps. First, locate the OU in which you want to create the user. Avoid using the default user's container as that's just a way of ending up with all of your users stored in the same bucket. In this demo, we choose the Secretariat OU. We right-click on the OU and then select New and then select User. This opens the new Object User dialog box. Technically here, you only need to provide the user logon name. One thing to keep in mind when doing this is that you want to have a consistent scheme across your organization. Here, I'm using first name dot last name. Use whatever scheme you want, just be sure that it's consistent and that you have a way of resolving problems when there are username collisions. When you select next, you can configure the user's password. The default is for you to set a password and then hand it off to the new user. The new user enters the password you configured for them and is immediately prompted to configure a new unique password that only they know. Some organizations pre-create accounts and use the account is disabled option. In this case, we've just set a default password 
and we would find some method of disclosing the logon name and the password to the new user. Selecting Finish creates the user account. Template users serve as pre-configured models that contain common settings, group memberships, and permissions relevant to specific roles or departments within an organization. By leveraging template users, you can significantly streamline the user creation process, ensuring that new accounts are set up with standardized attributes, access rights, and group membership. This not only saves time, but also reduces the likelihood of human error that could occur when manually configuring each new user account from scratch. You should store template users in a special OU, such as one called user staging, and give them names related to their template. For example, you might have a user named accounting template users that is pre-configured with all the group memberships and settings of a standard accounting user. Once you create the user, place it in the appropriate production user, OU. Creating a template user involves performing the same steps as creating a normal user. Here in the demo environment, we have a user account we created called accounting template, which is stored in the user staging OU. In our hypothetical environment, we want to configure each accounting user with a default account expiry date and a default group membership. We configure all these settings by editing the properties of the template user. To set the account expiry, we navigate to the account tab of the user properties, select the account expires radio button, and then use the calendar option to select a date. In this case, I've gone with the 1st of January, 2026. To assign group membership, go to the member of tab and then select add. Enter the name of the group membership you want to configure for the template user, in this case accounting users, and choose check names to see that you got it right, and then choose OK. Select Apply to save the changes, and then OK to close the dialog box. We can now create a user from that template by right-clicking on the template user and selecting Copy. When we do this, we get the new user dialog that we got before, where we configure unique values such as username and password. When the account is created, we move it to the appropriate OU. When we check the properties of this newly created account, we see that the account expiration settings and the group membership have been set using the configuration present on the template account. In this video, you learned some basic concepts around creating users in Active Directory users and computers. Specifically, we covered what an Active Directory user account is, how you create one, and how you configure them, and how to create and use account templates. We'll be publishing more Windows Server Basics videos on this channel soon. If you've got a specific topic you want to see covered, leave it in the comments below. Thank you for your attention and have a wonderful day.